name is Dallin Gatling. We are here at an undisclosed location, and welcome to Slap Fight Championship 24. Yeah! Underground slap fighting returns. America's original slap league, Slap Fight Championship, presents our 24th event. Tonight, fighters from around the country have traveled to an undisclosed location to test themselves at the barrel during this special one-hour event, Slap Fight 24 Collision Course. Hello, Fight fans. My name is JT Tilly, and I want to welcome all of our international fans watching on Sport One Network, as well as all of you here in the United States watching us on Fight TV. The heavyweight title is on the line tonight. Let's take a look at the fight card. Our main event tonight features two veterans of the slap game. Former light heavyweight champion and fan favorite Young James returns to the barrel to face original bad boy Rocky Moore. Our featured fight tonight showcases El Paso, Texas slapper and super heavyweight contender, The Bouncer, facing the big cracker from Baltimore, Maryland. But first, Team Cannon standout Runt returns to slap fight to welcome newcomer concrete finisher of Team Destroyer. It's all going down tonight at Slap Fight 24 Collision Course. This beautiful neighborhood is only a few miles away, very peaceful and well-maintained, but inside one of these homes are several of our good friends from Power Slap. They've joined us this week for Collision Course, and we've had a blast with them so far. But let's go down and look at some of their hijinks at the Fighter House this week. What's wrong, bro? Just missed the house, dude. going on here? <laughs> Do it, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, f <laughs> Always some shenanigans at the Fighter House on Fight Week. We'll check in with these guys later tonight, but right now it's time to get the evening started with a middleweight showdown between Runt and Concrete Finisher. Runt first appeared at Slap Fight during the 2022 Summer Smash, where he lost to former pro wrestler Maniac Matt. He had some great moments in his loss to Raven, but it was his battle with Karma at Slap Fight 20 where he finally hit his stride and brought home his first win. After defeating power lifter Achilles at New Era, the Tennessee slapper looks to continue his win streak with a big win over Missouri-based slapper Concrete Finisher. Last night at the Slap Fight weigh-ins, Runt tipped the scales at 175 pounds. His opponent, the concrete finisher, weighed in at 172 pounds, making this a middleweight showdown between two slappers who cannot wait to start this card off with fireworks. Let's go down to the barrel and our host, the secret weapon, Dallin Getling. He's fighting out of Team Destroyer from Rockaway Beach, Missouri. He stands in at six feet, one inches tall, weighed in at 172 pounds. Please welcome Concrete Finisher! from Kodiak, Tennessee. He stands in only five foot six inches tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. 
but he packs a powerful punch. Please welcome Ryan! <laughs> Good evening, fight fans. We are back at the barrel with a featured fight between Runt and Concrete Finisher. It's Team Destroyer versus Team Cannon tonight. Let's listen in to the coin toss. Tails! All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. All right, we are back at the barrel for this first fight of Slap Fight 24 Collision Course. Our lead official, as always, is professional fighter Kyron Bowen, and he's going to have a quick conversation with the concrete finisher about slap placement, and then we'll get this first round underway. It's the first fight for the concrete finisher, but he is prepared. He trains with Team Destroyer in Rockaway Beach, Missouri, which is only about two hours away from where we are tonight, and you can see his coach, One, Darius the Destroyer, in his corner. Two, three, okay, a fantastic start to the show. Concrete finisher with a great slap. No violations. Runt has 60 seconds to clear the cobwebs and get back to the barrel, but he's going to go ahead and opt to return fire right away. He's checking his placement here. Here's your wind up. And a nice solid shot from Runt. Runt is a very clean slapper. You'll see that during this fight, I'm sure. Very few penalties for Runt. Actually, very few penalties for all of Team Cannon. They train with the Cannon in Sevierville, Tennessee. Very clean team. Monkey Wrench, his teammate, has the middleweight title. Okay, I'm not so sure about that slap. There was a little bit of a pivot in the right foot of the concrete finisher. And line official Q Davidson is going to call that violation. That's going to be a warning for stepping for the concrete finisher. Now, that's just a warning, but if he steps again, he will lose a turn. And you can see there in the overhead shot, uh, just his right foot, his right heel just pivoted just a little bit. One, Can't do that at slap fight. Two, three, okay, and the shots are getting a little bit harder here from Runt. Runt knocks the ball cap and the cotton ball off the head of concrete finisher. All right, Darius is telling the finisher, aim just a little bit better this time. He says, you've got this. I know the concrete finisher has trained hard for this fight. He's been looking forward to it for a while. His primary training partner is uh, slap fight veteran Raven. And you can see similarities in their style here. Round three. Okay, not bad. Feels like the finisher is starting to pull it together here with the stepping violations. That's good to see. Runt's got a big cheering section here tonight. He's brought his mother along from Kodiak, Tennessee. Three of his brothers and all of their wives are here. One, That's them you hear in the back. Oh, a big shot from Runt, and his family goes apeshit. Oh, my. Concrete Finisher's a tough guy. He's taking some heavy shots here, but he's still in the fight. He's got to be very careful here with his violations. At this point, at this point, we have three legal shots by Runt and only two by Concrete Finisher. If this fight goes all ten scheduled rounds, <laughs> Runt will likely win the decision at this point. All right, here's your windup. Round four. Oh, no. We've got a little bit of foot movement here from the concrete finisher, and they're going to call the penalty for stepping. At slap fight, you cannot step, lift your heels, or pivot your heels during striking, and 
That's the second violation for concrete finisher. So he is now going to lose his round five slap. And undoubtedly, that's what was just explained to him. That means Runt's now going to have two slaps in a row. That's a big advantage to Runt. He's having a conversation with his corner man, former world champion, UFC Hall of Famer, Mark Coleman. Here's your windup, round four. Okay, solid slap. That's four shots in a row from Runt without a single violation or warning. Okay, there's no break for the concrete finisher. He had the option. He's going to stick his chin right over the barrel here. Oh! The concrete finisher almost goes down. Wow. Darius the Destroyer very quick on his feet. He saves the concrete finisher from going down, but any time your corner man steadies you at slap fight, it does count as a technical knockdown. So that means now there's one technical knockdown. If that happens twice more, we will call the fight a TKO. Concrete finisher, you can see the left side of his face is starting to turn the same shade of fluorescent orange as his ball cap. But undoubtedly, he's going to step back to the barrel here. A little bit of swelling there with the concrete finisher. Halfway through the match. Okay, not a not a great performance here. That That's another stepping penalty for the concrete finisher, and that's going to put him at a tremendous deficit. Take a look at the overhead shot here. Watch the right heel. And there it goes again. Oh, the entire foot that time. So what that means now is there's going to be another penalty for the concrete finisher, and he is going to lose his seventh round slap. So if you're keeping your own scorecards at home, what that means is Runt has now landed six legal slaps, concrete finisher two. And another legal slap from Runt. And at this point, he is running away with this fight. Round seven. Oh my goodness. A lot of people would tap out at this point. It looks to me like the concrete finisher feels like he still has enough to end the fight, but that's what it's going to take here. He's going to need a knockout, or we're going to have to see several penalties from Runt. And uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen here. So we're going to have, uh, there's no doubt here that the concrete finisher is going to be looking for the knockout. Here's the windup. Oh, man. That was almost a flinch by Runt, but the, the slap still landed flush. And, and here at Slap Fight, small reactions are allowed unless it affects the power of the slap, which that did not. Here we go. Oh, man, that's really good work being put in tonight by Runt. Another clean slap. You can see the swelling to the side of the face and the nose of concrete finisher. Wow. All right, concrete finisher steps back to the barrel. Okay, just a little bit of a wet turd here. That was not a good slap at all. At this point in the match, uh, the cannon has stepped onto the platform and he has removed Mark the Hammer Coleman as the corner man for Runt. And now the cannon is in the corner. This is a big fight for Team Cannon. They lost a fight to Team Destroyer in our last event. Oh my gosh, another big shot. Completely rocks the concrete finisher. He looks over at Runt as if to say, good shot, man, and Runt looks back at him as if to say, yes, I see this. Wow. All right, this is round 10. This is the final round of the match. At this point, we have Runt with nine legal slaps, the concrete finisher with four. The concrete finisher needs the knockout here. This is his last slap. You can see the intensity on his face. Here we go. Oh, not a great slap at all, but it did look like a little bit of a flinch there. Are they going to call it? 
Okay, we've got a flinch penalty from Runt, and that's gonna be his second penalty for flinching, so he is actually going to lose a turn here, and that means that Runt will not have his round 10 slap. So that will officially end our feature fight for the evening. And seemingly, Runt has done enough to win the decision here. Fantastic performance by both competitors. Uh, let's take a look at the replay here. Interesting debut by the concrete finisher. I'm sure there's going to be an incredible future for him in the sport. But this fight was all about the consistency of Runt. Runt laid down eight fantastic technical slaps, running away with a decision on the judges' scorecards most likely, and bringing his record to three wins and two losses. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a winner after that back and forth contest. Let's hear for both warriors. Let's go. Yeah. And there you have it, Runt takes the decision. Three wins in a row for Runt, a three and two record. Fantastic night, congratulations, buddy. And he did it all in front of his mama. Take a look at the replay here. You can see the concrete finisher with some fantastic flexibility, lots of rotation in his slaps, but in the end, just a little bit inconsistent with his feet. Runt, on the other hand, showed out tonight and deserves a pat on the back and all the respect in the world. From an 0-2 record to a 3-2 record, fantastic performance by Runt. All right, Ron, I just watched that match. What was going through your head about halfway through? Because I know it was back and forth, so I want to hear about it. I was really thinking he hits very hard. That's a strong man. I mean, I watched I watched you rock him twice. I mean, I saw you get rocked once, but that last hit, I mean, holy cow, you just ate it. I mean, yeah, I, I, I felt pretty I felt pretty good about it because it was I uh, get to I like to meet new people, you know, expand the sport. So that was a match I was looking forward to. So everything went as planned. You're all good. Mm -hmm. Face good. Everything great. Might not be later, but right now, yeah. Ready for the next guy then? Yes, sir. All right. I'm here with Wes Drain. You probably recognize him from Power Slap, and he's been watching this fight with me. Uh, now, I know that the rules are a little bit different. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, what, what are some of the differences you observed in this last fight? Uh, we have less rounds, you know, in Power Slap. Here, they, they go seven, ten rounds. Um, absolute wars, honestly, man, compared to what I'm used to. I mean, right. I've seen a lot more Power Slap, but here, these guys are eating multiple just power shots. Right, right. Ten, like, ten rounds like, worth, like right? Like champs, man, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And the, the the concrete finisher, that was his first time doing it, and he stepped up and, and showed hey, up. Hey, yeah, for sure. I mean, he showed he showed he's um, here to stay. For right. Sure. I mean, if he chooses to be here, I mean, he's got heart. I love him. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll see a lot more <laughs> of him. And uh, we got a, a few more matches to watch, but uh, I, I'd love to get your insight on, on some, of, some of the things that are, that are different, like you said, the, the rounds. You, how, how many rounds do you do in Power Slap? We do three. For, for, yeah, for regular and then for the championship matches, it's five. All right, all right. Well, let's get on to the next fight. Thank let's you. Go. Team Okuma super heavyweight, The Bouncer, made his debut at Slap Fight Heavy Hitters earlier this year. He won the single night tournament in a showcase of extreme resilience, fighting 14 rounds against some of the biggest super heavyweights to step up to the barrel this season. Tonight, the Texas native looks to improve his undefeated record to 3-0.
The bouncer will be facing regional amateur standout and knockout artist Big Cracker of Baltimore, Maryland, making his pro debut tonight. This Cracker has been knocking out opponents at car shows and conventions for years and now seeks to run the Slap Fight Super Heavyweight division. Last night at the weigh-ins, Big Cracker tipped the scales at 332 pounds. His opponent, the bouncer, 323 pounds. Neither of these big men was short on words at the weigh-in. Both had plenty to say, and I can tell you there is no love lost between these two opponents. All right, here we are back at the barrel. Seems to be a little bit of confusion here. From my vantage point, I can see that the Big Cracker is in place. He's waiting in the wings to compete. But I was just handed a note that said that the bouncer has left the building. And I'm not quite sure what's happening. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a quick break here so we can get to the bottom of the situation. Uh, in the meantime, here is a video compilation of some of the best knockouts from 2022 and 2023. Enjoy. Our newest sponsors, they're fantastic. We've worked with them for years now. Shemokin Thunderclap takes a seat. Holy smokes. A big, big shot from the Slim Reaper. And Shemokin Thunderclap is still on the mat. He's having a conversation with the medical team. He seems to be cognizant, but he was absolutely rocked. Shemokin's a southpaw. Here's his windup. Oh, a shot from Shemokin, and Slim Reaper is hurt. Slim Reaper stays on his feet, but he is visibly affected by that slap. Oh, he is no slouch, and let's see if he can take another one of these big shots. Another south, Paul. Here we go. And Shemokin Thunderclap goes down again. This might end the fight. Slim Reaper is in the zone. Holy smokes. Again, Shemokin Thunderclap is awake. He's speaking to the medical team, and I can tell you that he's going to try to continue this fight, but the medical team may have other plans. We're just going to have to take a few seconds here, find out what's going on. This is an interesting matchup. We've got two southpaws, both with cool hats on. I think this might be the end of the match. Oh, my gosh. Shemokin and Thunderclap having a hard time keeping on his feet. They're going to call this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go down to the barrel for the announcement of the winner. The Slim Reaper! Here we go. Two, three. Oh, a big shot from Black Jesus, and the executioner is down. Oh my gosh, we have never seen this. The executioner is on his ass. Now the executioner only has 60 seconds to regain his composure, or he will lose the match. Okay, and referee Q Davidson is signaling that that's going to be the end of his break. And it looks like that's going to be the end of the match. But I don't think he's planning to return to the barrel. Okay, Mark the Hammer Coleman waves it off. That's a wrap. And Black Jesus moves on in the bracket with a first-round knockout of the Mexicutioner. Oh, my gosh. Taking a look at the replay here, you can see a nice, clean strike. No stepping, no clubbing. 
and of course, never any flinching from the executioner. But unfortunately, he's going to have to live to slap another day. The executioner is out of the tournament at Slap Fight Championship. Check his placement here. And here's your windup. And a huge shot. Home record goes down. Oh my. Home record is on the mat. One, two, three. Oh, that was round three, pardon. The Hulk catches home wrecker again. Home wrecker. It looks like we're going to stop this fight. That's three knockdowns. And we have a three knockdown rule here at Slap Fight Championship. Three knockdowns, and that's a TKO. So we're going to go ahead and announce the, the winner here. Neanderthal wins by TKO. This is a giant man, and we look forward to seeing more from Neanderthal here at Slap Fight Championship. Bottom of round two. One, two, three. Oh, the cannon drops. Shemokin Thunderclap. Oh, my gosh. Shemokin Thunderclap goes down hard. He's having a hard time getting back to his feet. I have to admit, the cannon is shocking everyone in the room. He was a clear underdog when we booked this fight. If the cannon were able to pull off this victory, it would be one of the biggest upsets we have seen this year, and it will be the first win for the cannon who has had some bad luck in his career. Oh my God, the cannon drops Shemokin. Oh, Shemokin goes down hard. What an incredible main event. I am almost speechless. The cannon has shocked everyone and proven himself as one of the top middleweights at Slap Fight Championship. Let's take a look at the replay. Bottom of round one. one. Here's the Aloha two, Samurai. Three, one, Not a bad slap from the Samurai. The Hulk takes it. Hulk's having a great time here. Talking a little bit of trash during the windup. Oh! 
And it looks like the Aloha Samurai goes down hard in round two. Oh my, he may be out. That's a wrap on the Aloha Samurai. He is out cold. Ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant has been eliminated from the survival match. We're going to take just a few moments here to make sure that the Aloha Samurai is okay. The officials are going to move him over into the medical area, and we're going to move forward with our survival match. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first confrontation, the Hulk. Nobody thought the number 10 seed would come from the alternate bracket to the finals, but that's what's happened. Okuma, number five seed. One, Here he goes, round one. Two, three, oh! Two, Okuma puts Black Jesus on his ass immediately. Black Jesus is struggling to get back to his feet. All right, the medic is asking him to take his time here. Top of round two. Teammates colliding at the barrel for the title tonight. Two, three, oh! Okuma 915 with another big shot. If he goes down a third time, that's going to be an instant TKO, and we will have a new champion. Oh! And Okuma 915 destroys Black Jesus in three rounds. And fight fans, we have a new light heavyweight champion. Holy smokes! Okuma 915 comes from the number five seed and wins the tournament with a heavy right hand. Oh my. Taking a look at the replay here, another perfectly placed slap by Okuma. Puts Black Jesus down three times. One stepping warning. I don't believe that the stepping violation in any way led to the knockdown. A little bit of an ugly slap there by Black Jesus, but again, knocked down twice and still in the match. Sometimes throws off your equilibrium and your dexterity. But looky here, Okuma 915 sailed through the slap fight invitational, eating only five slaps for the entire tournament. He threw seven slaps to become the champion. The medical team is immediately to the platform. The Hulk has 60 seconds, and Neanderthal takes a knee, fist bumps a couple of fans. Right now, it's all about the Hulk. Can he return to the barrel, or will we have a new super heavyweight champion in Neanderthal? Oh my gosh, Neanderthal eats another slap from the Hulk. Here comes the windup. Oh no! The Hulk almost falls off of the platform. That's two knockdowns. The Hulk looks dazed and confused. Doctor is already to the platform. Neanderthal takes a knee. Friends, this fight may be over. Round six, Neanderthal winding up. And the Hulk, oh, that's going to be a technical knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a new super heavyweight champion, Neanderthal. Oh, my gosh.
And here we go. Bottom of round one. Oh, Shemokin Thunderclap goes down in round one. Holy smokes. Medical team's already at the platform having a conversation with Shemokin Thunderclap. He does have 60 seconds to regain his composure and return to the barrel. This fight might be over, friends. We may have a winner here. Shemokin Thunderclap just a little bit confused. It looks like they're explaining to him now that this fight is over and they're going to take him back to get an examination in with the doc. We have a finalist, ladies and gentlemen, Okuma 915. Okuma eats it and immediately returns with a bomb of his own. Look at this. Perfect placement, good power. Turns out the lights on Shimokan Thunderclap, and he takes a seat immediately right into the arms of Mark the Hammer Coleman. Unbelievable knockout by Okuma915, moving him into the final round. You can really see the improvements that he's made in his game since his debut at Slap Fight 21. Simba staring bullets through Ron. Ron maintaining his composure, waiting for the next slap. Here it comes. Oh, a big shot from White Simba, and again, Wolverine eats it. No break for Wolverine. All right, bottom of round two. Wolverine's gonna check his placement here. Here's the wind up. One, two, three. Oh! White Simba goes down in round two. Wolverine stiffens him up. And look at the face of Wolverine. He is not surprised in the least. White Simba stumbles back to the barrel, almost falls on his face. He has 60 seconds to recover. If he can recover in 60 seconds, he can continue the match. Otherwise, Wolverine will have TKO'd White Simba with one slap. Gently caressing Wolverine's face. And here we go. Oh! A big club from White Simba to Wolverine, and Wolverine is furious. You can see it all over his face. He has now taken a, a nasty club to the neck and already there's some bruising on the left side of his neck. Wolverine is ready to slap. Let's go. One, two, Don't blink. Three. Oh! White Simba goes down again. His quarter man catches him, but he folds up and goes all the way down to the mat. Wolverine's wondering if this fight is over. White Simba is back to the barrel. Looks a little bit confused here. I think this fight might be over, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. White Simba loses by verbal submission, and Wolverine maintains his light heavyweight championship and his undisputed status. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by technical knockout verbal submission, Wolverine. These two fighters are known for going out on their shield, and tonight they're putting on a show for the fans. Here we are at the top of round five with Highlander. One, Here's your windup. Oh no. That looked like a club. Uh, we're going to discuss that for a few moments here and look at the replay. Okay, it looks like they're gonna call a clubbing penalty here on Highlander. That means that Frank will now have two slaps in a row. Ready, ready? One, two, 
Here's the first, round five. Oh my, that one stung just a little bit. Highlander's not gonna take a break. He's gonna stick his chin right over the barrel here. Round six. Oh, and Highlander goes down. Frank the Tank has dropped Highlander in round six. Oh my. The medical team has come to the platform. They're taking a look at Highlander now. This fight may be over, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by All right, we're back. Uh, unfortunately, there's no sign of the bouncer. We've not been able to get a hold of him, and it looks like the fight between the Big Cracker and the bouncer is off. We did have a replacement opponent, but we were unable to put it together. The, the Big Cracker is in the dressing room, furious right now, and he has put together a, a video message to the bouncer, which he's going to allow us to play for you now. So take a look at this, and we'll be right back. Jesse the Bouncer, I don't understand you, man. Your big grown-ass chicken ran back to Texas, scared of me. I thought they only had steers and queers. Now they got fucking chickens like you. You came all the way from Texas, to ma matched up with me at the barrel, and you waited out in the car like a little worm, and then you turned into a chicken, you know? I mean, who does that, man? Who comes all the way from Texas to get their ass whipped and sits in the car. You played like you were tough on the internet, doing sloppy hits, fouling people and hitting them in the temple in the ear and in, in, in the fucking neck and everything else. Man, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. You're not tough, you know? You're lucky, though. I was trying to lure you to the barrel, man. I was going to bring you in there and knock your ass out and then hit you about three or four more times while you're down because your name's the bouncer. So I was going to bounce your ass all over the place. So you're lucky I didn't get a hold of you, man. You're lucky I had a little sympathy for you. I felt like dragging you out of that car when you were hiding in there like a little chicken ass. So you're lucky you did run back to Texas with your tail between your legs, man. So now they got steers and queers and chickens like you. See you, man. You're blackballed, so I ain't going to see you, chicken ass bitch. All right. We're here with Mark Coleman, the man that doesn't need any introduction. And I just want to know, what do you think about this, this sport that's going on? I love this sport. I've been watching it for five years, uh, overseas mainly. Um, I, I didn't visualize that it could be done in America, but it's getting done. And JT is running a first-class organization. 
and I, I see the importance of uh, no fouls and stuff. It's a clean fight here, and that, that's what I really like about it. It's got to stay clean, and this sport could go the sky's the limit. Yeah, I've noticed watching these fights, I mean, the penalties, I mean, they're everything. I mean, mm -hmm. you can you can hit hard, not knock a guy out, but if you're getting penalties, it's over with for you. So is there anything that you want to see progress in the sport? I, I think JT's doing a great job. He, he is progressing the sport. It, everything will fall into place uh, like it should. Um, hopefully him him and the other leagues can work together and take this to the, to the ultimate high level. So as you being the hammer, I mean, are these guys warriors? Would you classify them as yes. warriors? Yes, yes. This is a sport. This is competition. Don't kid yourself. This is a big time sport. This takes, this takes to me more courage than in an MMA fight because in an MMA fight I can move my head. Uh, this is courage and guts. This is this is what it's all about. I love. All right. Well, you heard it from the hammer. This is a sport, and he's loving it. Slap Fight Championship 2. Young James defeats three opponents in one night to become America's first underground slap fighting sensation. The third and most lethal of these three opponents was a newcomer named Rocky Moore. Rocky had eliminated two men earlier that evening but faced veteran Young James in the final. The two men went toe to toe in an eight round war for the title. Young James became the new slap fight light heavyweight champion and went on to become a slap fighting legend. Young James! Rocky continued to face all comers at slap fight, always looking toward a rematch with Young James. Unfortunately, it never happened. The champion retired and Rocky left slap fight championship for nearly two years. He's now back with a vengeance. I'm Rocky and I'm back. I'm ready to state my claim as one of the pioneers of slap fight. I'm going to slap the out of somebody. From Atkins, Arkansas, making his way to the barrel, Rocky Moore! In his return to competition, he faced top 10 pound for pound, the Bayou Bastard. After two absolute firefights, Rocky oh, defeated the Bastard and then oh, Demon. Rocky! Young James joined Slap Fight Championship in 2017 and became the inaugural Slap Fight Light Heavyweight Champion. I'm Young James and I'm back to take this over. Young James! I came with a stronger head on my shoulders and I'm ready to go in harder than ever. with a knockdown in round one. Big shot from Young James. These two slap fighting pioneers have returned and the heavyweight title is on the line. It's Young James versus Rocky Moore at Slap Fight Collision Course. legends competing tonight. Let's bring him out here. First, fighting out of Harrison, Arkansas. He is six feet even, weighted at 264 pounds. He is Young James! His opponent, also fighting out of Harrison, Arkansas. He stands at six feet one inches tall. He weighed in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Team Rocky, he is Rocky! Oh, 
All right, here we are back at the barrel for our main event. It's Rocky Moore versus Young James, and I cannot wait to see how this fight fleshes out. As always, our lead official, Kyron Bowen, is going to have a quick fighters meeting with our veterans, and then we'll go down and listen in for the coin toss. Again, on your left, Rocky Moore. On your right, Young James. And Young James wins the coin toss. He's going to have the first slap. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds, and the winner will leave this undisclosed location tonight as the Slap Fight Championship heavyweight champion. Young James has packed on quite a bit of weight for this fight. He is 264 pounds tonight. That is one pound under the maximum weight allowance for heavyweight. Rocky Moore, excuse me, 238 pounds. Both of these light heavyweights have come to heavyweight to make a run at this vacant title, and tonight, one of these rivals will be the champion. Yeah. Round one. Three. All right, Young James starts it off with a little bit of a crazy slap there. I'm not so sure that wasn't a violation. Okay, they've just checked the replay, and it looks like the right heel of Young James has rotated, and you cannot rotate your feet when striking, so that's going to be a warning. Round one, there's a warning for stepping. It's a little bit out of character for young James, but he has been away for several months. Bottom of round, round one, Rocky Moore with the windup. Okay, it was, a, it was a little bit of a suspicious shot there, a, a little bit more of the heel of the hand, and it looks like Rocky knows it. And yes, it looks like uh, one of our officials has called a clubbing warning here for Rocky Moore. What that means, friends, is that we've just gone through both slaps in round one, and neither of these competitors has landed a clean blow. So here we are at round two. One, it's an even match. Here's your wind up. Okay, not a bad slap, but there may have been a stepping violation again. We're gonna check. Okay, yeah, they're going to they're gonna call a stepping penalty here on Young James, and that's a bad situation here for Young James. That means he will now lose a turn and will not slap in round three. Let's take a look up here at the overhead camera. And, yes, you can see the right foot of Young James pivoted just a little bit, and that's a violation here at Slap Fight Championship. Okay, Young James and Rocky Moore sharing some words here. Bottom of round two, Rocky's in a good position. Oh, no. And another club by Rocky Moore. He's already frustrated with himself. That was definitely an opportunity squandered. Bottom of round two, no legal slaps have been landed. Oh, my. Rocky Moore is just disgusted with himself. He lost a close, close decision last year to the Bayou Bastard because of one stepping violation. And so... Uh, I can see that that's going through his mind now. He's going to try to pull that together. Both of these fighters have lost their, their round three strike, and that means we're going to go right to round four. Here we are at the top of round four. Young James is going to check his footing. He's going to check the hell out of his footing, and now here's the windup. Okay, Young James with a nice solid slap here in round four. He puts a good one in, and there's a point for Young James. It's a little bit of conversation here. I think that was a, a legal slap. We're going to find out. A little bit of theatrics over here from Rocky Moore. He's over in the corner talking to his corner man, world champion, Hall of Famer, UFC, former heavyweight champion, Mark the Hammer Coleman. They're having a heated conversation over there. Rocky's upset. He thinks he's been clubbed in the ear. Over in the corner of young James, it's five-time UFC heavyweight champion Tim the Maniac Sylvia. We're very fortunate to have these two UFC former world champions as corner men at Slap Fight. Yeah. All right, the medic is at the platform here. Rocky's telling him there's some sort of an issue with his ear. And uh, I don't know if Rocky's going to withdraw from the fight or uh, I'm not sure. Each of our competitors wears a cotton ball inside their ear to, con to protect their eardrums from damage. And uh, 
it, it looks to me like Rocky just got his bell rung and he's going to step back in here. We are at the bottom of round four. Rocky Moore shakes off his haters. He's so pissed at the barrel. Young James says, let's go, man. You're milking this break, bro. Here we go. There's the wind-up. Bottom of round four. One, two, three. Okay, and a good slap by Rocky Moore. Here we are going into round five, and each of our competitors have landed one clean slap. Rocky Moore and Young James live in the same small city in Arkansas of Harrison. They've known each other since 2017 when they both made their slap fighting debut. And there is definitely no love lost between these two competitors. All right, here we are, round six. Excuse me, round five. Another clean slap from Rocky. We're neck and neck here. Each of our competitors has landed two clean slaps. No power shots yet, but we're still about halfway through the match. We've got several rounds left. Young James really watching his foot placement here. All right, here's the windup. Oh, and a nice shot there. A little bit of a stagger from Rocky, but he stays in the pocket. All right, they almost called a flinching violation on him. I'm glad they did not. I thought that was clean. One, two, three. Oh, I'm, oh no, this is going to be a bad turn of events here for Rocky. And again, you can see it on his face. He's a veteran. He knows when he's made a mistake. Bottom of round six, Rocky now has a clubbing penalty. This is his second penalty, so what that means is he's going to lose his round seven slap. That's a bad violation for Rocky. He's now going to be behind on the scorecards. One, round seven. Two, three. Okay, clean shot by Cody. Excuse me, by young James, formerly known as Cody. Okay, another friendly warning here for Rocky. There's no penalty here, but uh, Rocky's been told to watch his head movement. I can feel the frustration of Rocky more. Rocky and Young James have been, they have been uh, rivals since Slap Fight 2, I believe. In Slap Fight 2, Young James went as, went as Cody Fout. That was his fight name. Cody Fout won the light heavyweight championship with a victory over Rocky Moore, and Rocky Moore has never been able to forget that. He wants this title tonight, but at this point in the match, we've got four clean slaps by Young James. We've got two clean slaps by Rocky. It's starting to get ugly. One, two, three. Oh, and a nice shot by Young James. Wow. Oh, line official Q Davidson has just called a stepping violation on Young James. That's his second stepping violation. That means that he is also going to lose a turn. Take a look at the overhead camera. And there you see the pivot and the step. This time it was the left foot. Wow. Young James will now lose his round nine slap. And that's a real opportunity for Rocky Moore. At this point in the match, Rocky Moore does have an opportunity to land clean slaps and pull off a victory. This is a very, very close fight. This is the bottom of round eight. Oh, Rocky opted not for the fist bump. Interesting. Here we go. Oh, and a very good slap from Rocky Moore. A little bit of power there. What a shitty fist bump, but what a great slap. The round nine slap's going to be skipped for Young James, and here we go. Rocky Moore has an opportunity to even it up here. And another clean slap. If you're keeping score at home at this point in the match, we have just finished the bottom of round nine. And each of our competitors have landed four clean slaps. They have an equal amount of penalties and almost an equal amount of power shots. This is a very, very close match. And one of these two rivals is about to walk away with the Slap Fight Championship heavyweight strap. This is the top of round 10. One, Young James with the windup. 
And a good slap from young James. Let's go, guys. No break for Rocky. Rocky knows the severity of the situation here. Here's your wind up. And a good clean slap from Rocky. What a fantastic fight, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is in the books. Young James versus Rocky. Let's go down to the barrel and see who wins this razor's thin split decision. Legend and slap fighting pioneer Darius the Destroyer is here to award the belt. Wow. Congratulations, young James, the new slap fight championship heavyweight kingpin. That was a back and forth fight. You guys both had completely different styles. I, I have to ask you about yours. I, I was over there, so I couldn't see, but it looked like you take your hands off every time you bring your, your hand out, you take your eyes off of him. But yet you were landing pretty clean strikes. Is that is that what you're doing? That's you what I've been hand? doing. Yes. That's so why are you look why are you looking at your hand instead of the target? So I can follow my whole strike with it. Right on. Following it all the way. Well, it worked, right? Yes, sir. And you guys went back and forth. It was a, a penalty ridden fight, but you were pretty even in that category. You had a cleaner. Uh, you, as uh, when we counted all of the shots, you had the cleanest shots. So it was, I'm telling you, it went down to the last flap, and you got it, baby. I feel blessed and rocky. We'll do it again, baby. Let's yeah, get it. I, I we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Yeah. We'll do it again. Yeah. Let's I, get I, it. Everybody agrees that we need to run this back because that was as close as it gets. That was a close. Let's now, do it again. Now, you guys, was there bad blood? You guys were kind of talking during the match. Was that just uh, emotions and adrenaline, or is there some bad blood there? I'm not going to lie. There used to be bad blood. Like, now, we, now we respect each other because we're in the good fighting game. Right on. I respect anyone who comes in here and try to get this belt. I respect you. Right on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Young James steps up to the plate and goes home with the Slap Fight Championship heavyweight strap. Fantastic performance by both competitors tonight, but in the end, Rocky Moore fell short of the championship by one point. Maybe we'll run this fight back again at some point, but as for tonight, Young James, the new heavyweight champion. Earlier tonight, we saw a fantastic firefight between the concrete finisher and Runt. Both fantastic performances, but Runt took home his third victory in a row. We look forward to more from Concrete Finisher. We also look forward to something from the Big Cracker who goes home disappointed tonight without an opportunity to slap. His opponent, the Bouncer, has been in contact with Slap Fight Championship, and apparently he was in need of some sort of medical attention. So we're going to have to get to the bottom of that, and we'll get back with you shortly and find out how is the Big, the big uh, Cracker and Bouncer matchup looking for the future. We also want to thank our friends from Power Slap and our two UFC world champions, Mark the Hammer Coleman and Tim the Maniac Sylvia. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all social media, find Slap Fight Championship, and support the growth of American slap fighting. My name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Slap Fight. There is only one.
I'm here with Devin Schwan, another star from Power Slap. He was with me. We were watching that back and forth heavyweight title fight. What were your thoughts on that? Man, that was a good scrap right there. That was good stuff. Back and forth. That, did did oh, you have yeah. the winner? Did you know which one was going to win? Uh, I picked Young James from the beginning. Really? Uh, yeah, I told him that. So, so yeah. you're kind of biased. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't you say I'm he... biased. I just, I just had a feeling. Right. And you think he did earn it? Yeah, he earned it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And anything different that you saw that was going on here in that fight and the other fights tonight that, that are different from, from the power slap stuff? No, man. This is all just legit as, as legit gets. Yeah. Like, this is badass. Like, it's just, a, it's just awesome to be a part of it. Well, and I know that these guys, that last fight, they were talking a little bit, and, and young James admitted there was a, maybe a little bit of bad blood. Uh, I know in the house there were some moments where it got a little heated. Um, do you feel like it's better when you're competing, if you, if you have some of that emotion going, or if it's just like, man, turn the emotion off and I just go and I, I, I step up and just compete? Dude, I'm an emotional fighter, like, yeah. period. Right. End of story. Like, so you use emotion, it. yeah, I use it. You embrace That's, it. Yeah. Absolutely embrace it. Well, and I think that's what was going on in that last fight yeah, here, too. Yeah, it was. All right, awesome. Well, thank you, Devin. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right, this is Vern with the Slap News. We're here with Tim Sylvia. I want to know, what do you think about what's going on? I love this shit, man. You love it? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's so quick-paced. Everything's is. going good. Yeah, I, I've been watching it for a while, and ironically, I don't know, I saw something came up on my feeds, and I watched it, and I just said, I want to try this. And the promoter, JT, hit me up. We've met each other in the past and stuff. He said, why don't you come down and All right, when, Now, when you say first. try, are you going to try? Yeah, I think I'd like to. I mean, everyone, you're hearing this. I mean, look at this man's hand. I mean, this is, I mean... I'm almost six foot tall, and this man makes me look like a child. You see, that's cute. Six foot's cute. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. So, I mean, you're you're here. You're here for it. I mean, you think it's going to be yeah, progressing? I'll, I'll try it once. I mean, I was a professional fighter for 16 years. Played something for football. I mean, I can take a hit. I just don't know if I can take 10 in a row. We'll find out. You know. All right. Well, you heard you heard it here with Slap News. This is Tim Sylvia, and he is going to slap. We'll see. We'll try. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.